what is up you absolutely i mean just go look in the mirror you absolutely amazing person checking out this video right now welcome back to my channel <laughs> what's going on what's going on mushoku tensei episode four and five today let's just jump straight into it also if you like mushoku tensei hit the like button subscribe to see more and obviously notification bell with that let's just jump straight into it so last episode we saw that rudy said all those things i was like kind of upset about it because you know i think i thought the things between him and Saro were really like working out and he was just still going through all this pain and he actually ended up going with soul oh my goodness rudy that's how he's just checking out the landscape but look at his posture look at his demeanor even though it's from the back oh white grizzly last the grizzlies i remember now Oh, they're being rushed. Wow, we're starting off with a fight. I still said Soul looks so much like Paul. So it's pretty interesting. Oh, so it's that same technique he used last time. Oh, let's go. We saw Soul was extremely powerful. Just the way he killed that the white dragon, the snow dragon. But like I was saying, it's cool how Rudy's actually traveling with them, you know, on a quest with the boys. Oh, the red dragon. Incredible. Oh, no. The grizzlies were running away from the red dragon. Oh, what? Who did he spot? Rudus. I wonder if the dragon god is somehow connected to all the dragons. And he can kind of use them to look at what's happening oh conjure a smoke screen so they can split up oh my goodness let's go rudy someone saved him water wait what is that rudy yeah what it looks so different oh whoa, whoa let's go rudy Wait, what? Oh! Let's go, Rudus. Quagmire Sama. <laughs> Let's go, Rudy. Wow. He was tagging him through the smoke. You know how that feels in like either like Counter Strike or Valorant when you just get shot through the smoke? You're like, it is hacking. Rudus has wall hacks. You weren't kidding about traveling to the demon continent. Exactly humble let's go so how they like they never said how long it's been wow once i make a name yeah, i'll move on that's the thing like they never said how long he's been traveling with them with soul we just saw in the last episode he left with them of course giving thanks to roxy's draws typical rudy oh so he's still keeping up with his training and the bro is still looking jack and the hair's also he's got the the paul's hair now if you think about it but when is he gonna start growing his his facial hair you know what i mean oh the red dragon story yep oh a bard's tail wow that's like the biggest honor you can have right it's like the bard's tail like you saw it in the witcher as well you know boring oh my gosh it's her the addict the sex addict Quagmire Rudus. I forgot her name though, but she's with Roxy's crew. Like she said. Oh, so imagine he meets Roxy now. That's gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's like a succubus or something. Who knew Quagmire had a woman? <laughs> Ellen and what? Ellen Lees. Ellen Lees. I'm a friend of Roxy's. This chick is. <laughs> My gosh. Married to everyone in the town. There's like a saying like that. The teasing won't fluster me. Oh, he grabs her by the chin. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. But that's the thing I was saying. It's like he already couldn't do anything with Sara. And that I forgot her name. The lady that Sol took him to. So, like, unless he's changed after all this time. But I still think he hasn't dealt with his itch issues yet. I wonder if Rox is finally going to meet Rox. What? I learned where Zenith was. Of Rapa. Begar Begarit Continent. Interesting. Traveling on foot might take me a year or more. Wow. He finally got news of his mom after all this time. What? So she's just chilling. 
beggar it's the beggar it content i would love to see a map an actual map of everything and he's just getting stronger and stronger what is going on here it's a cold day try not to catch a chill it's slutty as hell her very existence is practically a crime erectile dysfunction <laughs> so she pays these guys wow that's that's just one trippy i was gonna say human being but elf imagine it's from roxy that would be crazy genius principal of the renoa university of magic wow so now his name is just spreading throughout all the continents king class water mate wow so he's going to university now this will only make him so much more powerful i wonder if it's in the big uh beggarit continent imagine that would be so perfect his magic's plateaued wow so it's basically just a publicity thing right where it's like oh come to our university even though you like already different and then when you make it famous then they can be like oh hey you know you studied here renoa that's our type of students yo that's the thing he's like in a prestigious family man they like remember they only showed selfie like once So he wants to pass on the invitation even though i personally feel that that's something he should actually consider doing oh what is he here again wow i haven't seen the, the man god in so long doesn't feel as bad as before i wonder if he's gonna ask him about the dragon god again oh washed up <laughs> wow why is this guy attacking him so much now oh he's trying to push him towards the university wow ah uh, exactly interesting interesting tactic but it would it should work evasive and fishy as ever my real advice is yet to come okay oh like see his face even clearer now oh oh wow lord man god <laughs> they just keep saying pride 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 <laughs> the man god is actually super funny but interesting wait what she's just sleeping next to him that's the like that's the whole thing you know attach it the university to something he really wants like there's no better combination to get him to do what he wants to do wow but i'm actually am to see him go there because obviously i want to see more magic i want to see more fights i want to see rudis become too good you know imagine he gets to a point where he doesn't even need to use a staff man i'm so amped for the show and just look at how they started off this is gonna be cool him at the university it's gonna be amazing and whoring again <laughs> almost like rudis did any of that wow the kingdom of renoa oh so she's gonna travel with him man this ost like almost always nearly brings like tears to my eyes it's such a beautiful song okay so now we're seeing new people he's gonna meet wow interesting i wonder if that's family of what what is this about oh sylph is gonna be there right because remember she's gonna have uh, ariel ariel is gonna further her studies right but she wasn't actually gonna further her studies she was um hiding because they tried to like kill her so she, he's gonna meet sophie now at the university wow he's here let's go i'm so pumped for this next episode wow man one of the greatest one of the greatest animes in the whole world wow okay that was amazing i'm, I'm glad to see that this took place with like we're getting super deep into the story zenith has been found she's chilling let's just jump into the next episode this is gonna be interesting to see him at the actual university so let's just check that out they finally made it i ran short of gentlemen to pick up on the road this ellen elise is 
Oh, look at all the staffs. So now we kind of gonna see like, you know, like a mini Harry Potter kind of vibes, like Hogwarts. And you're gonna see all these different types of mages. So, I mean, I'm like, I'm sitting here in a bit of just like, I don't want to say tears in my eyes, but the intro for this was very different. They actually had an actual intro and there was some chick that was with Rudus. I'm, I'm so confused, but I'm so amped for what's happening now. I think this season is, gonna, is about to pick up big time. So this is genius now. Genius. <laughs> Miss Roxy. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting what he finds out about the whole teleportation incident. Like, was it created? Was it man-made? Is it something that has got to do with the, the seven gods? When I was a kid, I always wanted to go to, you know, a super old university where, like, something like this. And this is when I was young, young. Because obviously I saw it in movies and things like that. But it would have always been a interesting sort of experience. So he's trying to say that, that she can cure her curse of smashing everybody. She's a nymphomaniac. I think, I don't know if there's a cure for that. Oh, wow. So he's going to do a demonstration for everybody else. And that's the thing. That immediately gets people to like you and immediately gets people to hate you. Oh, <gasps> Sylphie. No ways. No ways. Like straight up. Oh my gosh. Does he rec- Oh my gosh. He doesn't recognize her, of course. Why would he? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. The first person he meets. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he's going to be able to, to recognize Sylphie by the magic. No. Oh my gosh. Whoa, he hurt her. He cut her cheek. Oh, but he can just heal her. Disturbed magic. An upperclassman. <laughs> Let's go, Rudus. He's amazing. I bet he's the Once again, he's still getting Sophie confused for a boy. Like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? What a crazy start to this episode. Like, my cheeks are literally, like, spasming because I'm smiling so much. I'm like more than a researcher, more than a student, which is true because look at his journey so far. Oh my gosh, of course she's wearing the uniform. Interesting. I want it's gonna be interesting to see. Is this Ariel? Oh my gosh, Princess Ariel's here as well. Luke! <laughs> Everybody reminds him of Paul, but Soul more than anyone else for me. Ariel and Amoy. Oh yes, we did see there's like demons here as well. I still wonder like who is Rudy gonna end up being with? There's so many different characters. There's Sylphie, right? There's Roxy. And like now he meets Princess Ariel and it's kind of like it could even be her. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's him. Master. This guy is the one who's so strong. Zanoba. I wonder if this is family of... Gislaine. Oh, so this is the sister of those other ones. Who's this now? Persena. And this is the dude we saw at the end of the last episode. So this is someone who already hates him. From the looks of it, I'm not sure. Cliff Grimoire. Magical genius. Wow, okay. Advanced combat spells, healing detoxification, and divine magic. Incredible. I'm a beginner with barriers. Eris. Wow. Miss Silent. Oh, Miss Silent. Oh, Silent Fits. That's what they. That's what they call her. Of course, it's going to be more suspense. You know, they they'll never just reveal it immediately. Oh, so this is where the people they battle on that station, I guess. Sigil. Mass teleportation, that's that's what they call it. I don't know, giant libraries like this. Oh my gosh, Sylphie. Just say it's me, Sylphie. Come on, man. <laughs> this is so man, I'm ah this is so cool, honestly. I just want Sylphie to say like it's me to look back. 
It's actually a great guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, at least he has, you know, well, he's student, but someone he's known for some time. And this guy's a king, after all. You. What was he saying about Fitz? Quite forgetful. Wow. Beneath your notice. The cousin. I never knew he was a grey rat as well. But that's the thing, like, Rudus is of, like, noble blood. So, like, he was reincarnated as, like, a noble. White haired elf reminds me of Freerun. Wait, what? Panties. Was that Sylphie who threw it? Underwear <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's the last thing you need to be known as. They've literally all got brooms already. Oh my gosh. What the? Princess Ariel's undergarments. That's the last thing you want to be known as on your, like, your first day, second day. Oh, wow. Oh. Can't even walk out of the sunset. So many rules. Okay, so it's basically just in sections. Just please tell him that you are Sylphie. Goliad. All these names to remember, but it's pretty easy. Just say that you are Sylphie. Take a... <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Fitz. Come on, just please say it. Just say it. Take off the glasses. Oh my gosh, the suspense is killing me. Oh my gosh, there? That's where you end it? That's where you end it? Oh my gosh, this show. I absolutely love this show. Mushoku Tensei. Wow, absolutely incredible. Remember, at the end of, I think, episode 3, he left with Soul after the whole thing with Sara, which I don't even think think he's ever going to see her again which is kind of like i guess that's the thing it's just life right that it's just life you think something's gonna work out with someone and then they just become someone you know from the past you know so like maybe he sees sara again but it doesn't really look like it he now got the letter of invitation to the renoa university of magic which is what he was trying to do initially and that's think about how crazy that is for like a manifestation right the original plan was for him and Sophie to go to the University of Magic he went through this whole way meeting Eris doing all these things and then he still ends up there with Sophie like how crazy is that and now he's met her she's obviously known as Silent Fitz obviously she does have to keep undercover and I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind not telling Rudis but we see that he's here now and how and we see all these different characters we see all all these different new possibilities within the show you know for a long time we kind of saw that you know he was just being an adventurer he was meeting people along the way but that's also the crazy thing about the show is think about like Rougeard for instance right Rougeard was such a big part of him getting out of the the demon continent and everything and you know I haven't even thought of Rougeard until now so it's interesting to see how Rudus goes and he meets all these people and then it's almost like they're just non-existent of course maybe they'll show up again later on but very good episodes now this is what i'm saying right you almost saw no fighting right there was a bit of fighting when he defeated the red dragon and he just looked so strong you can see how much he's grown but even though it's very slow it's just so interesting to see what happens with him and even my friend was telling me i'm being a bit hard on free Rin, the show that i'm watching as well but i was saying that i don't have a problem with shows that are slow look how full of just everything that this show is there's so much it's so rich and it just it captivates you in many different ways so the very good episode i'm so amped to carry on like i said and i'll say it again this is one of the best shows i've ever seen in my life i'm so amped to keep watching it but anyways that's going to be it for me if you like mashoka tensa like i do hit the like button subscribe to you know continue watching this with me and you know hit the notification bell so that you get it as soon as i release it so that's going to be it i'm out. Peace. In a bit.